and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Lab of Legends action. We are on legendary mode going through all 20 champs and trying to complete with each one. We got five left to do today. We're going to be doing Lulu. Of course, those y'all watching later on YouTube, there is a playlist um, that has all of the other uh, 15 if you want to check them out if there's any of the champions you're struggling with or you want you know want to watch some really cool gameplay because those labs are a lot of fun all right so we're gonna we're gonna be trying to win with lulu on legendary mode today all right so we got our our starting deck here all ionia stuff going through the powers and looking at them i kind of feel like nature's revenge will maybe be the best one to start with with lulu because we get the sapling each time we gain the attack token. That sapling is a challenger that's really good to support. We can support that uh, sapling with picks and young witch and Lulu and stuff like that. So I think that that you know, gives us that other very good thing to support. Let's go ahead and try that out. All right, we'll go play our, uh, our lab. Let me just check this loadout, make sure we're good. All right, yeah, we good, we good. Okay, let's go play, play some fun games of the lab. We got our nine stages that we need to beat three in shadow isles three in freljord like three in shadow isles with fresh as the boss three in freljord with sejuani as the boss and three in piltover and zon with victor as the boss opening hands we want to definitely see lulu of course but we want to see pix as well and like young witch basically our one two and three sorry our one two and three mana units Sorry, excuse me. Okay, so of course you, you never want to kill that pesky specter right away. You are. Okay, so the twin disciplines will be able to uh, help my Lulu out. But we got a slow hand. So we're gonna be taking some damage. The Lagoon of Legends is my favorite place for these labs. I <clears throat> like this music quite a bit. Okay. So now I think we start double spelling with the twos. That is not good. Like, we could whimsy this... 3-2. Like 22. 22 is probably okay to be at. Twenty-two is probably okay to be at. sense to do this. All the colors. Let's move. Well no it doesn't. I was I was thinking with um, with you know like when when Lulu would would level up Some's a problem. We're gonna make this thing a 5 2 because here's some. Yeah. Kordak, you're not wrong there. Um. 
Orc was saying, I played some games today, saw some infinite value decks and elusives. Lost Soul seems really silly. Everybody's playing Telescope and Mayor or Elusives. The prank mechanic's also not very nice and takes away the whole hand reading and curious shell folk is just more infant value. And whatever your endgame is gets discarded because everybody's playing aloof. Yeah, that's that's kind of what's going on right now. But yeah, that Bandle City was a really, really powerful region. They really did they did power creep the game for sure. There's the card selection uh, that it has with the with the manifest stuff and for how cheap everything is. Now that it's zero power. Okay, so challenge support you challenge. Alright, you challenge there, you challenge. Right. Vulnerable. What do I want to get vulnerable? Let me give are being a little rough here today. No, stop. Stop. Okay. I need to barrier this. Alright, so we're at 21. And so hopefully we're at 21 through the spiders. I think we should be able to win from here. Yeah, it looks like we'll be at 21 getting through the spiders. Yeah, the, the spiders were strong today. I I didn't have any any units to play on one or two. And so they got ahead, they had Vile Feast also on my my automated blocker. Yeah, I didn't have a great hand, but that's alright. I think I think we should still be okay. Oh man, this is tough. Okay, so Tarek is kind of the obvious thing, because then you can like Tarek and Mountain Sojourners and try to set up great support chains, but that's it's pretty slow doing that, and we don't really have the spells for Tarek to copy over. Um, so I kind of actually like these other things more, to be honest, because like this is already pretty slow and our, our deck's already slow. I think that because these things have like, you know, cheaper units, like they both have ones. Um, I kind of like Nocturne the most, honestly. Yeah, I like Nocturne more. Yeah, the thing about Bandle City is the value, like the the value engines with Loping Telescope, Bandle City Mayor, and those kind of cards just make it where you just want to play, play just cards like Loping Telescope. You just put in every single deck, and it, it makes building synergist, synergistic decks um, less important, less good, less desirable whatever word you want to use, less effective whenever you, you just have certain cards that just can go in every single deck and do really well in every single deck. And so that's a big, that's the problem with printing cards like Mayor and Loping Telescope and Conchologist and those kind of cards that, those manifest cards that fit everywhere and are incredibly effective 
that there's just not really any reason to play other stuff. What are the deal with these hands? So basically, the the stingy onlooker just doesn't do anything right now, except for block hapless aristocrat, and I don't want to block hapless aristocrat, obviously. I want to play it as a 4-1, you know, double spell with it as a 4-1. Simon says, I feel that for the game designers, it's hard to release stuff that is new and exciting and feels good without making it OP and causing power creep. Neither one feels good for the players. And I, I think the way to do that, um, and then you said, yeah, they could be a bit more active on approach to balancing. I would like that. I would like them to be balancing much, much more than they are. It's like every like four months, they'll do a big balance patch, if that. Anyway. Anyway, um, five, three, five. That's too big. I could have Lulu support the sapling, but then it's only doing two additional damage to the Dusk Rider, and that's not that important. Um, anyway, the thing to do that is to have, again, more synergistic stuff. Like, I, I do like like Scion's build and you know, like how you have the synergistic stuff like that. Instead of just having cards that go everywhere and are great all the time and go in every single deck. Like, that's, that's when you get to... Uh, get to having a problem and get to, uh, you know, stale metagame, all that kind of stuff, is it just when, when you have the same cards in every single deck, because they're just too good. So I didn't play picks last round, so we could play it for to support the Nightfall with these. So I guess we're probably killing them, right? So let's heal our Nexus Tomb. Because you just go over here, you go to you, which goes to you. They can block... Yeah, they block 1-4, but then they're taking lethal. Alright, so we're at 15 with Thresh. You can try to get through Thresh at 15. Minus one cost is always good. So we go minus one cost on the Lulu. Yeah, let's just go and do that. Um, it's not amazing having it on round two as opposed to round three, but it's just something that I... It's just uh, good to have. All right, we're going to go ahead and play this Homecoming. I don't know. Kingpin's also nice, especially with like um, Lulu costing two now. I don't really have threes. I guess we have Skilled Snapper. So we'd have Will of Ionia and Homecoming. All right, I'm in there. Because we know how they can, like some of these, like Freljord ones, like Sedwani, they can get really large units, and kind of same with Victor, can get some really large units. Homecoming does bounce the landmarks as well. So we could bounce like Vault of Helia, for example. Let's 
keep this. Just gotta get through Thresh here, get a brand new power. This is pretty nice having these saplings. These saplings are the best power for Lulu. You want the, you know, the less bodies, the better. Um, so it looks like they don't have any other twos in the deck. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Okay, so I need you to support Lulu, so Lulu doesn't die to these things. And so therefore, I guess you support there. Kind of a waste, but it's. I, mean, I guess it's. I guess you can support that thing. Well, okay, wait, wait, wait. Now Lulu levels up. So if Lulu leveling up. Yeah, I won't die to a 2 1. Okay, okay. That's all. That's a before we get really into the deck. Like that's a really nice round three that we just had. Like that's a crazy good round three. And we can put the Stygian Onlooker back in our hand. I could put the Scuttle Guys back, but it would still cost two, so that wouldn't really do it that much. I want to get rid of this Vault of Helia. Remember our life total will reset. that vulnerable. Wait, so if I go there, there, yeah, negative three. That works. All right, cool. All right, we'll get a resetting life total and a new power. Definitely looking forward to this new power. Let's see what we get. When you summon an ally, grant its keywords to all allies. That sounds pretty cool. I don't think we've ever, like, chosen sharing as carrying too much. We don't use this very much, but... Alright, so why why this is going to be good. Remember, we get the challenger. Every single time we have the attack tokens, that's going to give all of our stuff challenger each time we do that. And then we'll also have a couple elusives. Um, basically just that, and then, like, some fearsome. But it's basically going to be able to help give everything challenger. And that's going to help us, like, attack with Lulu and stuff, giving Lulu challenger. That sounds pretty cool. More homecomings, eh. Maybe some poison darts? It's just cheap, you know, one mana. Just these homecomings and wild claws just cost a lot of mana. I think we'll take poison dart. Whenever you're just choosing regular spells and stuff like that, if you haven't seen the other videos, I'd kind of talk about it some, some more, but I don't like using rerolls on those. I want to have the rerolls for the powers. Definitely use rerolls on the powers. And then the the cards with the, um, I don't know, attachments or whatever these things are called. Um, with those kind of buffs, you use, use the... Uh, keeping this? I guess we'll send one Lulu back. Um, you know, use rerolls on those kind of things. But when it's just putting regular spells into the deck because 
it's putting any kind of random spell throughout the history of the game. You can get some poor spells, so I don't like using the rerolls for them. Alright, so doing that to get a support. So that's one out of three for Lulu. But I guess this thing's going to die pretty easily. So maybe I shouldn't have done that, but... Oh well. See, now Lulu has Challenger. Now Lulu has Elusive. I don't even think the faces will really add mana, but I'm just going to take care of it just in case. Now Lulu has Fearsome. Now they all have elusive challenger in Fearsome. Oh. Gotcha. Well, I guess we'll just have to. Let's use all the colors. Sweetly silently. I guess we'll just have to attack like this. So depending on what kind of other um, keywords we can get on some of these other cards, it's going to determine how good that sharing is caring is going to be. Wow, Claw. Give you a barrier. And then play you. This one will do. Alright, and I care more about my life total than killing the Wild Claw. I don't care that much about killing the Wild Claw. So, doing the 3 health. Gain additional 3 health so we don't take any damage. Alright, Cloven Way. I imagine he's going to kill him. I could barrier one, but that just doesn't matter. All right, cool. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what we got. Zero cost Nimble Poro. Nine cost Treasure Trash. Or progress day when cast shuffle two copies, they cost one. To be honest, I don't love any of these. <laughs> I guess we could go zero cost nimble poro. These two are just too expensive. This is I could use a reroll here. This could be a reroll. It's either I think it's either the nimble poro or the reroll. The nimble poro, what it the best thing it does is with the sharing is carrying, is it gives it'll give like my other stuff quick attack. And at costing zero mana. So I guess we'll go with that. Um, Alright, Lulu's going to have Fury. Because, of course, we, we want more copies of Lulu in our deck. So it looks like Lulu gets Fury. You know, like, double double cast Twin Disciplines is pretty cool. Uh, this one is really not that important. Because, you know, like our units gain Challenger all the time from the Saplings. Well, we'll have Lulu have Fury. And start giving other stuff Fury. Yeah, imagine if they shared Ephemeral. Oh, that'd be bad. That'd be bad. Yeah, so it could be the whole board Fury, but of course, Lulu is like the thing that we play first, so not likely that's going to be whole board Fury. Uh, Will of Ionia and Homecoming both good in this matchup, but we'll probably find more of those, so I'm just going to send them back to start with. That is not a challenge I want to make. 
wanted to find the one drop. Voices from the mountains. Um. Everything's better with company. Says you. Where are you going? Lame. Not a very good hand. No Lulu's. Our hand just got worse. This doesn't look so good. This doesn't look so good at all. We're taking eight. Maybe I should have gave Lulu elusive. I was thinking of like giving all these fury, but I probably should have gone the other way around and gave Lulu elusive. Alright, so yeah, we haven't done any supporting yet. Okay. So we're gonna have there are four power quick attack. Yeah, I should give Lulu elusive. Because the problem here is that four five. The four five's a problem. didn't work out too well. I really should have gone the other way around, because then I don't have to challenge the 4-5 and I can take out these other things. I didn't I didn't play that very well. Okay. That's a spell. We can play with spell mana. That's always good. Spark and I will keep you safe. Let's pick this job, Stamo. Alright, down to 14. We're playing with fire this round. <laughs> this round. We certainly are. I guess I could just attack. No, we should play stuff. Alright, same as just attacking anyway. It was just normal attack. Not too worried about this. Um, Scar Mother with us having the whimsy. I could have waited on that. Oh, I guess I could have been waiting on that. Please attack with that thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. How about like blocking with Lulu here? Oh, Whimsy is just for this round. Right. Okay. Right. That's how that works. We should still be fine. Should still be fine. <laughs> hey, 
yeah, it's not Mini Morph. I'm just so used to playing Mini Morph. Yeah, I'm so used to that card. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Double Spirits Refuge? Well, the second one doesn't really do anything, so it's just Spirits Refuge. Hidden Pathways, heal your Nexus 3. Or the Absolver, draw a card. I like... Healing our Nexus is really important, so I like that these are healing our Nexus. I think that I'm going to go with the Spirit's Refuge of, you know, Lifesteal Berry. I think that's probably better than the Pathways, because we need to... If we've created two plus cards, I guess... I guess we always create two plus cards, right? Because just the... Um, the little two on the saplings that should count towards that. So that's going to be a three mana draw to. That could be kind of nice. But Spirit's Refuge also pretty nice. All right, we're going to take Spirit's Refuge. All right, Will of Ionia uh, heals our Nexus or Stygian Onlooker costs zero. I like Stygian Onlooker costing zero. So Archangel Staff power is always really good. Should probably be using some rerolls. We just didn't really need to use any rerolls on these. Yeah, maybe I should have been looking for more of the, the keywords for everybody. Everybody. All right, we want uh, we want picks. Come on, picks. No picks. Yet. Picks? No picks. They really want to kill this Weirding Stones immediately. Well done. Fight or die! So I'm down to six. That's not very much life. That's not much life. Right, never mind. You have Challenger now. Okay, this makes a lot more sense. I forgot the Lulu had Challenger. Alright, so I can block like this, and then we get a 2-1 and a 4-2, or I block like this, and it's a 2-1 and a 4-3. So, I guess this makes more sense. Did you know, Mucker? Okay. Challenge there. I guess we buff you up. Put him down to 10. Make a nine. Help me out, Puff Caps. Thank you. Homecoming is perfect. 
great card to draw. Wow, the homecoming is perfect. Exactly what we needed. Oh, I should have played the night. The onlooker was free. I had to play it first, though. But yeah, I should have played it. So I, I missed that onlooker. Could have had a 2 1. An extra 2 1, but I think this should still be lethal. Perfect. Okay, we're through Sejuani. Two thirds of the way there. But we have gotten really close both of these times. Now we're about to go to Piltover and Zon, where it's the most difficult. Spells cost one less, that's always cool. Attack, raise my health, eh. Give the challenger, that doesn't matter. Spells cost one less or reroll? We do have a lot of spells. I think we reroll. Yeah, we don't have that many spells. All right, reroll. Round Star Rally, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. So Round Star Rally is awesome with support stuff, but it's also perfect with um, how whenever we get, gain the attack token, we gain the two one, the sapling. So now we'll get gain that sapling every single round. All right, so we'll put Spell Shield on Lulu, so they can't kill Lulu as easily, and now. You know, give spell shield for everybody. Also. Yeah, so sapling every single round. The zero cost card isn't amazing, but with the foundry, we want to get cards out of hand. Wow, they didn't do anything else. Here I am. It's gonna be me taking some damage. I guess it's better not stick six. We don't have to attack this round. up you, you're going to challenge over there, you're going to challenge over here. Tremendo! These death rays, killing all my stuff. We're, we're controlling the board, which is exactly what we need to do. No! My noble Poro. Oh, and that. Right. Well. That's not good. Have, oh no, it still does have spell shield. I was gonna say it doesn't have spell shield anymore, does it? But no, it does. Wait, I thought it had spell shield. They said said it had spell shield on there. 
but it shouldn't, yeah, it should not have because the, the one damage to everything card, that should have got rid of the spell shield. Okay, so we're going to play the Skilled Snapper. Okay, so you're gonna challenge it there. Oh wait, these things don't have quick attack anymore. It's gonna be a 4-4. Four, four. So you challenge there, you challenge here. Okay, that works. What is the Zoe power? What do you mean? What's what's the question, Arose? Oh, Zoe's level up? Oh, yeah, Zoe's level up means that um Yeah, that I guess that is that is what we have here, is Zoe's level up power. It's called sharing is caring. I guess that's what you're probably asking. Yeah, that basically is what, yeah, that is what we have. All right, let's go Green Glade Duo. So we can grow Green Glade Duo. And then Onlooker. Discover the unknown. You support there, you support there. Only plus two plus two. Or here. So you can challenge there. Never see us come. And that, that thing can't even block. Yeah, I can block right there. Alright, well. We go. Yeah, Lulu is basically the arsenal. <laughs> Basically. All right, putting the foundry back in their hand. That's probably pretty good. Lifesteal! The double lifesteal doesn't really do anything, but it looks cool. So if we do this, yeah, we're putting down negative. Negative a lot. Still negative enough. Okay, and we're back to 28. So we got through the foundry at 28 now, thanks to that lifesteal. We're looking in a good spot right now. The... Uh, yeah, if we had a, if we had any cart, any unit with lifesteal, that would be great if we could get something like that. The round start rally really helped. Alright, so we can give onlooker regen, which, you know, gives everything else regen. Um, or reroll. I'm kind of thinking reroll. I think, let's reroll. Um, Spirit's Refuge now draws a card. I actually like that. Because we do want to draw cards over against the last two opponents. We The last two opponents, we can definitely run out of cards. Let's get more Spirit's Refuges in the deck. And have them draw. <laughs> yeah, we have a bunch of small things. So, like, regen for, like, one health isn't uh, that great. Okay. We need to kill Heimer right away, which we can. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that. Poison Dart, I guess, is cool. But I could see sending Poison Dart back, so we need to find Lulu. Maybe I should have sent that back and looked for Lulu. Yep, definitely should have. No, 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 no. See, so I was good. Buff that up, have that challenge Heimer. And that's why I want Poison Dart, was for these things. Let's take this 
All right, at least we have the attack token again. There's always the thinking of like don't kill stuff because then they can't play new stuff. But these things are pretty big and scary. Lulu, where are you? There you are. Found you. So Lulu does not have Challenger. The others do. Let's kill you and... I guess we're just going to weaken you. The other two cards are matter. Yeah, regen yeah, we could have had regen fury. You can see how we could definitely run out of cards. So the, the life steal and the life steal barrier against big turrets could be important. The life steal barrier, remember, it is a double cast. Also, so that means um, let's just go with barrier here. Give them all fearsome. Mm. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, what are we doing? Quick attack you. You buff up Lulu. She buffs this thing up. All right. Anyway, what am I? What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say something. I can't, I I've been <laughs> thinking about how to sequence all this, and I forgot what I was talking about. But y'all probably understood what I was trying to say anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. With the the double cast. So the we're gonna draw two cards with that barrier card. If we ever find it, we'll, we'll draw two. <laughs> right. Okay. Just give somewhat somebody gets a barrier. You can have a barrier. How can I help? We got a pretty good setup going now. This round star rally was really clutch. That's what we needed. Uh, you just take that thing over here. You can challenge you, and you give quick attack to you. Quick attack to you, who challenges you, who buffs up. You. No, 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 no. This just doesn't. Basically, this Lulu buff just doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess the Lulu buff just doesn't matter. Because these things are challenging anyway. And then you can buff up you, and then you can go like this. Alright. Alright, so I'm just doing 12 damage. Oh, I guess that's the thing. Don't worry, I've read all about this. I'm coming. Field? How 
All right. I want to do this. We'll give you a barrier. And you two can challenge you two. All right, now. Buff that thing that's the most damage to buff. And then you buff this. That should be 20. 24 to be exact. All right. 27. 24 is not exact. This is 27. Alright, GG's. So we're on to Victor. Our deck's looking great, that round start rally looking great. Onlookers now draw a card. That's good if we want to get extra, you know, extra cards into our deck. Making these cost zero, you know, basically zero mana and draw cards. That's probably pretty good. I think we'll keep that. Could reroll looking for something better, but we could also get something worse. So we're going to save a reroll. We don't really need to use rerolls this time. We got good powers right away. Alright, look for Lulu. Alright, we got lots of card draw. So that's good. Not nightfall. What do I do? What don't the second I do? one's nightfall. So much to Rude. Oh yeah, yeah, I've definitely had ranked... Yeah, we definitely had games in ranked where you don't draw your champions. Yeah, that, that happens all the time. Absolutely. Absolutely. We have two Spirits Refuges for healing our Nexus back. I think we can take a little bit of a little hit. Lulu? Yeah, Lulu. Alright, we'll start there. Good. Whimsy is very good on this board. Yeah, because I can't really do too much. Go here. I'm at 12. Oh, 12 is not very much life. Hey, it's the boss man. Remind me to upgrade your thought processors. I was hoping, of course, that they would block with one of these things. Especially like the 5-6 and then I'd whimsy it. Don't mind if I do. No materials, no improvements. Gen. 
Why'd they have to get regen? Oh, I guess that thing is overwhelmed. It makes more sense to walk over here. Alright. Alright, this isn't working great so far. And we're just drawing all of our bad cards. <laughs> These Usaris and Fae Guides. Probably shouldn't have used the lifesteal barrier when I did. Probably should have let them attack first and then lifesteal barrier and then challenge on the way back. They just didn't cast the hex core upgrade. And they could have. So kind of need a homecoming and get rid of this victor so that this thing doesn't get to overwhelm and regen. The problem is, like, this is just me taking seven. I can't really take seven. They usually have, like, burn spells. I mean, I guess I do have the... Okay, I do have the Spirit's Refuge. Something good. Not these things. The two worst cards in our deck. Well, we can make that work. We can make that work. Thinking about going. How much do we need to play this lifesteal barrier exactly right now? Being at four. Probably a lot. Okay. Get the picks. Either way, I'm doing 5 damage to their Nexus, but I'm challenging over here so we can get the um, Fury on that thing. Officer Squad. That card's new. Alright, how big is this victor? Hopefully not that big. Five, seven? Seven? You can't kill five sevens. Uh, they could just replay it. Okay, we're gonna barrier. Get a pick. Onlooker. Kill <laughs> draw. Behold me, hairless apes. All evolution will converge to machines. That's cool. You have elusive in here, right? Yeah.
17? 17! Alright, Lulu is victorious. Experiment succeeded. Even on the final boss where we drew all copies of our two worst cards, we were still victorious. So those have to be the two worst cards, right? Yeah, they definitely are. Our only four and five mana units that don't have anything, so we drew <laughs> both Fey Guides, both Usaris. Still victorious. Great, great powers gained. The dominate. So if you if you're trying out Lulu yourself later on, uh, you know you're going with the Nature's Revenge with the Sapling. Definitely look for Domination Round Start Rally. Those two worked so well together. Uh, you know, getting so then you get your Sapling every single round. You get to support every single round. That was awesome. So look for those. Sharing is caring was all right. It was you know it was pretty good. It was better than your norm. You know, better than your average power. But it wasn't necessarily like the best, you know, like an evolution would have probably been better than the sharing is caring. Um, but that's all right. We'll take it. It's, it's epic. All right. So there we go. There's a nice run with Lulu. And we really showcased Lulu in this instead of the support champion. That's always good to be able to do that. So another experiment succeeded. That's champion number 16 in our list of 20. We got four to go still. We have Aphelios, Hecarim. Heimer and Talia as our four to do still. All right, another one down. <laughs> so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. Hopefully this helped you out with Lulu. Uh, if you were struggling with Lulu before, hopefully this kind of um, stuff helped you. Uh, you know, hopefully this will, will help you finish that up. Uh, but that's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next one.